Um, about three years ago, I found myself in dire need of a reinvention. I lost my mojo. I was 36 years old. I had four kids, six, four, two, and one. And I was bored. I wasn't bored every day, obviously. I had four kids. Um, but I had spent the past six years nurturing them so much that I kind of forgot about me. And I didn't really know what to do about that. But I knew I needed to change it. I just didn't know how. And I had done the corporate thing. I worked in Ottawa's high-tech industry for about 10 years before I had my kids. And I did the home thing. I had started my own online business. But I was still bored. I had no creativity in my life. And on February 7th, 2009, I did something that kind of changed my life and started my reinvention. I joined Twitter. And I know everyone says turn your phones off, but if you've ever looked at my tweet stream, you'll know I rarely do that. So I'm just going to live tweet right now from the stage because who else can say they tweeted from their TEDx talk? <laughs> and now I'm going to put my phone away. So I joined Twitter and I had no idea what I was doing, like most people. Oh, send. Thanks. I had no clue what I was doing, like most people. I just sat there and, you know, tweeted, but I knew I liked it. And so I did what most people do. I did what I liked. Sat on my couch at night after I put my kids to bed, and I watched TV with Twitter. And I would tweet about the shows I was watching, and I would tweet during award shows. And every time I did that, I would get more people follow. And slowly and surely, I started to find a group of people that I liked to follow. And they all kind of had the same thing in common with me. They were mothers maybe a little bored, but smart, smart women. And I met two women in particular. One's name was Sharon DeVellis, and one was Erica M. And if you're my age, you'll know who Erica is, because she was the first female VJ on Much Music. If you're a mom, you might know who she is, because she's the CEO of an online magazine for women in Canada called the Yummy Mummy Club. And both of them were bloggers. And my name is Kelly, and I am a blogger. So I met them online, and I started talking to them. And I thought, wow, these women are really dynamic. And I like what they do, and I want to do that too. And one day, Erica tweeted out that she was going to be in Vancouver. And she asked if anybody there wanted to come and meet her for coffee. So I thought, huh. I tweeted her back, and I said, what about Ottawa? Are you coming to Ottawa? And about three minutes later, she tweeted me back and she said, yeah, how's April 26th? I went, oh, that, that's okay, I'll meet you there. So a handful of women and I got together and we went to a coffee shop in Westboro and I met Erica M. And we had a great time, we chatted, we talked, and the more I talked to her and the more I knew her, I realized that I wanted to be around that. I wanted to be around that energy and that's where I wanted my reinvention to take me. And on July 20th, 2009, my very first blog featured on the Yummy Mummy Club was published. And I had reinvented myself from a bored mummy and a desperate housewife to a blogger. And I get people all the time now saying, how do you do that? How do you reinvent yourself? And kind of like what Steve said, you have to work for it. There's nobody there who's going to walk up to you and say, hey, you should do this. You're really good at it. You have to work. I have over 55,000 tweets in my tweet stream, which I don't know if that's a good thing to say or a bad, but I work for it. I'm online, I have four kids, I can't go out all the time and go to networking events, so I do my work from home. I do my work after nine o'clock. I asked Erica to come here and meet me. She came, I took that opportunity, I went, I met her. Then I pitched her and I said, I wanna write for you. And she said, okay. So you have to work for it. It's hard, but nobody is going to sit there and say, you need to do this. You need to go big or go home. You know, there's a lot of people, you can change your hair color, you can lose weight, you can kind of reinvent yourself in little ways. But if you really want to make a change and be creative, you have to think big. I have a friend, her name is Heather. I met her on Twitter. I've since met her in real life. Um, Last March, Heather lost her son. He was three. He was born with a congenital heart defect. 
and instead of consumed, being consumed with grief, Heather decided to make a change and reinvent herself as an advocate for him. She has since raised over $45,000. She's built a room in the hospital that he was treated at in his name, and she continues to raise money for his cause. She went big. She thought, you know what? She's going to make a change. When I met Erica, and she tells me this all the time, after about an hour, because I didn't want to be too pushy, I said, I want to be on TV. I want to be on TV. I want to be a talk show host, and I want to be on a show with you. Let's make a TV show. And she didn't look at me like I was crazy. She kind of said, oh, oh, okay. You might be a little crazy, but okay. And she's in Toronto, and I'm in Ottawa. But the following February, she held a red carpet party for the Oscars. It was a viewing party at her house. And I went, and I did all the red carpet interviewing there for all her guests. And uh, the news came and interviewed me, and I was on TV. And that day, actually, I ran a Twitter party for the Oscars that trended as the number one trending topic in Canada. And I kind of felt, yep, this is where I want to be. And now I go on TV. I pitch myself. I go there. I work for it. I pitch them, and I say, hey, can I come on? I just want to talk about X, or I just want to talk about Y, and they go, sure. And this past summer, when Roger's Daytime in Ottawa was running a co-host contest, I put myself out there, and I made the top 10. And this talk was going to be a lot different, because I really thought I was going to win. <laughs> but I didn't. But still, I got the opportunity, and I put myself out there. And reinvention is constant. You're constantly changing. It doesn't mean I stop. It just means my reinvention took another path. Um, stay away from the crazy people. Life lesson, really. Um, there's a lot of crazy people online. And uh, shocker, I know, not everybody's who they say they are in the social media world. Um, but there's, you know what? There's coattail riders and there's negative people. And there's people who will begrudge you for your successes as you start to change yourself and reinvent yourself. And the only thing I can tell you is just don't even acknowledge them. Stay away from them. They're everywhere. But... You know what? There's always somebody there who will be willing to take you down. But if you stay away from them, and that's very easy to do, you'll be fine. But in saying that, find your mentors. In social media, online, in real life, in this room, there are so many people who are so good at what they do. There are authors, and there are PR people, and there are business people, and there are television personalities, and there are cocktailistas, all people whom I call my friend, that I've gotten to meet using Twitter, using social media, and I've met them in real life. And they are so willing to help you and to talk to you and say, well, you wanna do this? I can help you do that. And they've done that for me, and I'm very fortunate. But also, when you do that, you have to turn around and give back to people too. I have a lot of women who are mothers, who are my friends who come to me and say, how did you do it? I'm so bored, I'm so bored, I'm unfulfilled. And so I can't hand anything to them. I can't tell them this is exactly what you do. But I can help, and I can guide them, and I can give them my advice, and I can introduce them to people I know. Because I started out as a bored mom and a desperate housewife. But now I'm a blogger. I go on TV. I'm a writer. And I am so many other things other than that. But I'm still reinventing myself. So my name is Kelly. And I'm a blogger, but I'm not done yet. Thank you.